Today's video is a review of the Finer Form Semi-Commercial Adjustable Weight Bench available on their site for $249. Finer Form also sells an indoor spin bike on their site for $499. I'm in the process of reviewing it, so stay tuned for that video as well if you are interested. Today's video will be broken down into the following topic areas. First, I'm going to go over some details on this bench. I'm also going to talk about the assembly process. Next, I'm going to talk about my first impression. And lastly, I'm going to wrap up with some exercises that you can do using this bench. This bench is comprised of a high-grade steel. It has a net weight of 49 pounds. It's 51.5 inches in length and 17.5 inches in height. There are three seating position adjustments as well as eight adjustable back positions ranging in degrees from negative 15 to 0, 15, 30, 45, 60, and 72 degrees. This bench has 2.55 inches of synthetic leather and cushion pads for maximum comfort and support. It has a thousand pound weight capacity. There are various uses for this bench. You can use it as a sit-up bench for your abs and core. You can also use it as a decline bench for your lower chest. It can also be used as a flat bench for strength and cardio workouts. And lastly, it can be used as an incline bench for upper body training. There are two wheels on the front as well as a handle, making it really easy to move around the room. So this is what the package looked like when it arrived in the mail. It has a net weight of 49 pounds. Assembly was quite straightforward and took 45 minutes in total from unboxing, laying out the parts, to fully setting it up. I found the user manual to be well written and easy to follow, which is definitely a plus. The first step was to insert the foot into the mainframe. To do so, we had to remove the screw, place the foot, and reattach the screw. The second step was to attach the base. We used the shorter screws included in the pack as well as a flat washer. Here we're laying out the remaining screws and flat washers. These will be used to attach the seat and back portion to the base. We're gonna flip the base over and slide the seat and back cushions underneath it. From there, we're gonna go down the line and screw everything in place by hand. Doing this step by hand ensures that you have some extra wiggle room towards the end to get the perfect fit. Now to make the final adjustments and tighten everything up, you can either go in with the included wrench as my son is exemplifying, or you can go in with a ratchet, which we found to be much faster. The last step was to remove the padded portions of the foot bar, slide the bar into the foot area, and then reinsert the pads. And there you have it, assembly is complete and you're ready to now use the bench. So for a few first impressions on this product, I just did a few tricep extensions. So initially I started out by sitting on the seated portion of the bench right here, but I found that I had to scoot back just a little bit so my head would reach the tip of the bench in order to do the proper extension. I do like the seat and the back cushion. I do feel that they are well padded. As you may know, it is 2.55 inches thick of padding. It doesn't have like a sort of memory foam texture, which is actually good because you don't want yourself sinking into it. You do want to feel supported. I do find it quite easy to adjust the angle of this bench. This is as far back as it can go angle wise. Thank you, Stella. So now I'm gonna show you how I do those lunges off the bench. I do feel like it's a little bit high if you were to do those lunges where your foot is on it. The idea is, of course, you want to keep this at a right angle if possible. Okay. One of my favorite exercises using this bench are tricep dips and I'm gonna show you right here. 
my two kids decided to join. They were actually in the background as I was filming this first impression. Hi. Dad. So here are some exercises I recommend trying with this bench. The first you can do are tricep dips using a flat bench. The next is a shoulder press also with a flat bench. Next up we have an upright row once again with a flat bench. We also have crunch kicks using a flat bench. You can also try an incline bench press or a dumbbell fly and you can also do a decline bench press. Lastly, we can wrap up with some sit-ups. Of course, there are many exercises not limited to these. You can also check on their site where they have a video demonstrating these exercises.